Ahoy! The Legacy of Crisis event is coming back to New World on the 10th of January, and while you probably know my feelings about these World Boss events by now, you may want to care about this one at least a little bit, because there are some things in here that could be interesting for you and that are also relatively easy to get. So basically we have the same event as last time, you have to kill some corrupted Cyclopses and you get some loot in return. Uh, world Boss as usual, you farm them with a <laughs> another 200 people I guess but yeah you get the idea but they have changed some of the rewards um, this time same thing as with other world bosses as well you need to deal at least 1000 damage to receive rewards we have uh, these two new statuettes housing items look kind of funny so you know I don't I don't mind those at least They're like a nice little bonus if you care about housing items uh, there's also a new pickaxe the 19th legion pickaxe skin if that is something you care about, at least it does look kind of nice. And there is the Decimus and Lucanus weapon and armor set. Now, this set, I think, mostly existed last year already. Uh, they do specifically mention here that you also have a pair of trousers that brings the whole set together, which may have not existed last year. I don't exactly remember, but if we look at the uh, loot table here, we can see that there's this whole set here. And I think the Brachia of Lucanus may be new. This set you may want to care about and so far that uh, it is this like Legion set, there's also a golden version of it and all that. Uh, but it's one of the few black sets in the game that's like this full black metal style, uh, which I think looks very nice in certain transmog combinations. So if you're somebody who connects transmog, then that is a nice option. Uh, one piece of gear here is also solid, I guess at least, uh, the Curse of Desmos. Uh, which is now upgradable with health and invigorated. If you're going a build in that direction, uh, you can upgrade that and choose the third perk. At least that's what it looks like so far with all of these pieces. If we click on them uh, on New World Database and you can see that you have an upgrade recipe here. So it should be possible to upgrade that with an armor matrix. And we have the other pieces here as well, but honestly, perk-wise, uh, you can see there's not really anything that is particularly great that anyone particularly care about, as far as I can tell anyways. I don't think many people want Vigor, so not that great, especially because it's also magnified. So outside of the chest piece, I don't think people will really care about this beyond the transmog aspect. Then there are also some other weapons here, but again, uh, we have more refreshment on this one. We have Vorpal on this one, and we have, well, no good perk at all on this one, pretty much, uh, for a weapon for a great sword. So those are all not that good. But there is one that you may want to care about, and that is Wrath of Decimus. Now, Wrath of Decimus comes with Thwarting Strikes, Enfeebling Maelstrom Locked, and it comes with Strength Locked, different from the armor pieces which come with Magnify. I know Thwarting Strikes currently not really in favor for most players, because a 300 con is not really what you run in most builds, uh, but... I will say that I think this is something worth keeping in mind at least, because as we know, perks change over time and, and things can always go back to previous metas. And in a meta where Thwarting Strikes is effective, which is absolutely possible uh, that, that sees a return, this will be a very good weapon. And Enfeebling Maelstrom means it's going to be very useful, especially in wars. Now, I will say that I could potentially see this being useful for light users as well. If we actually see this light melee uh, build playstyle return, uh, with a heavy con focus instead, that would be very interesting. Uh, but in that case, you probably wouldn't want to run Enfeebling Maelstrom on it, so it might not matter that much anyways. But either way, I think uh, this Great Axe is worth grabbing. And on the topic of grabbing these things, uh, there's a reward system for this one that makes it a little bit less of a headache, because you'll get your typical uh, three per day rewards here for three kills from the cache that I just showed you, uh, but you also are guaranteed to receive every reward after defeating them 12 times. And I think that is the crucial aspect here. Now, this event is relatively short. If you look at uh, the dates, it's only from January 10 to 23. So you have to be fairly quick with that. And as far as I know, I'm not 100% certain about this, but at least for Turculon, I think it worked this way. You don't have to do these 12 kills spread out uh, to actually get the daily reward caches. As far as I know, you actually get all the rewards even if you kill them 12 times on the first day. Not 100% sure, but I'm very certain it worked this way for Turculin, and that's how I get my stuff pretty early. So this might just work for them as well, and in that case it's super easy to do. You just log in on the 10th, uh, farm them, 
<laughs> for a couple of hours and then you're done because they're gonna die instantly with, with all the people raiding them unless the event starts all bugged again and that gives you all of these rewards apparently. I hope it's actually working like that because that means you could very quickly uh, put a check behind this event and say okay I got the stuff from there very quickly I got everything I need or might ever need and if they change anything here I'm gonna have it anyways. Uh, so yeah I think that could be worth doing just logging on a bit for that. Yeah, other than that um, everything is kind of like you would expect here, you have the chance to get some named uh, pieces here as well from Brimstone Sands or Greater Eternum. I am wondering if this is going to include all the new pieces, the named pieces that can actually be upgraded, because previously it used to be the random named pool, which wasn't very useful. Uh, if it's the newer pieces that could actually be interesting, if you could, for example, get like syncretic gear from that, for example. You'll have to see if that's the case. But it's also a relatively low chance with 10%, so I don't think it's worth farming them for that either. Uh, just something as a little bonus. So overall, uh, I think do the event, do it quickly while people are actually still doing it because I think after a couple of days, most people will definitely be done with this. Uh, we see the issue with the Winter Warrior already. I think it's going to be a lot more extreme with this one. We have some more things to talk about today about World of Warcraft, Season of Discovery and about Throne of Liberty. Uh, we'll see if I can get both videos out in time. But if you're interested in that, consider subscribing and clicking the bell. Thanks for watching and thanks to my patrons for supporting this video. Duke Sloth, out.